Listen, I know I've made a bunch of these videos, but I feel like I need to make a new one every time I learn about something updated, like more optimal launch options and more. I know I've had complaints before about the speed at which I speak and explain stuff, so I'll chill out a bit. Before anyone complains about the thumbnail, it is legit what we're doing in this video, okay? I just don't invent the 1000 FPS mark, so you don't even start. Anyway, if you're on PC, the first thing you gotta do is check your monitor's hertz. If you know this, you skip this step, and if you don't or you wanna make sure, you search advanced display info. Select your monitor and make sure your refresh rate is at the highest, then remember that number. After that you will go to Steam, right click Brawlhalla in your library and type set FPS 1000 in launch options, just like I did. That's all. Even if your monitor doesn't go that high, reaching higher FPS numbers in game will shorten your input lag, giving you faster inputs. You can check how many FPS your game is running at by clicking on Steam on the top left, going to the in-game tab and putting show performance monitor anywhere. I have it on my top left. But before you run the game to check, we still have one more thing to do. Right now your FPS in game is locked by the default VSync. Before, players would run a launch option called Triple Buffer to deactivate it, which would add more frames of input lag. There's a way better way to do this though. I'll explain it for NVIDIA users, but if you have AMD, I'll leave a tutorial link in the description. Just right-click your desktop, go to the NVIDIA control panel, go to Manage 3D Settings, and in Program Settings, select Valhalla.ex. In here, just make sure your vertical sync is off. If you want to stop here, you can. But if you want to further optimize stuff, I recommend you scroll up a bit and keep low latency mode on ultra if your PC is good, and just on if it's not very good. In global settings, it's always nice to put power management mode in preferred maximum performance and preferred refresh rate in highest available. And go into adjust desktop size and position and make sure your monitor is on no scaling, with perform scaling on GPU. Below this option, if you have the setup GSync option, make sure it's off. AMD, on the other hand, has free sync instead. Make sure that one's off in this case. Now it's your time to start your game and test out how it feels. If it feels smooth, then this is the best you can do. I'll leave some extra optimizations and genuinely very useful tips after the next quick thing. But yeah, if you feel the game runs weirder than before, try this. Play a custom game or go into training mode and see what the lowest FPS number you find on the top left is. Only while you're playing. If it goes down to something like 250, for example, just change the Steam launch setting to 50 FPS and the lowest. So set FPS 200 for this specific example. If the lowest FPS number you see happens to be below your monitor hertz, just take 3 from it instead of 50. So right now, I have a 260 hertz monitor. If we take the previous example, I'd need to put set FPS 247. But again, if it runs fine on 1000, just leave it as it is, okay? You'll get the best input lag that way. Anyway, there's something else Brawlhalla players would often do to give their game priority over other programs. It's outdated now as they've changed from some stuff. This is a step where you have to be very careful. It's often recommended you make a backup before touching Registry Editor. But if you're careful enough, you should be fine. On Windows, search Registry Editor. Open it and copy this text on the top to reach our destination. I'll leave it in the description. Now here in the Image File Execution Options folder, you may see some folders like brahalagame.ex or ecantichit underscore eos. If you followed any of my past tutorials, you can go ahead and carefully delete these two. Now if you don't see those folders there or you're done, just right click in the Image File Execution Options folder, go to New and press Key. Name that key brahalag.ex, typed exactly like I did with the capitalizations. Everything in this part of the tutorial is case sensitive, so do it exactly like I am. Then right click it and create another key, same way as before, named Perf Options. Left click it once to enter it, then do as I do here. Right click this empty space and create a DWAR 32 bit value, named CPU Priority Class. Double left click it and change the value data to 3. To know if this works, launch Brahalla, and while it's on, go to your task manager. Click on details, right click Brahalla.ex, and if you hover over set priority, it should always say hi. And that should pretty much be all. Here's some random tips to it that could help you further though. Search graphic settings on Windows, make sure all of these options I'm hovering above are on. Overlays from programs like Xbox Game Bar and the Discord one can reduce your performance. For the Discord one, just do this to disable it. For Xbox Game Bar, I'll leave a link in the description. Having GPU acceleration can make your games run worse. Here's how to disable it on programs like Chrome, Discord, or Steam. For Chrome, do this. For Discord, do this. And for Steam, do this. This will make the specific programs use less resources. For last, there's a program called Edsig Lag. It greatly helps you with ping, especially if you play far away from the servers. I believe there's a free trial, and I genuinely think this program is amazing. So maybe consider trying it. For me, it made most Brawlhalla regions kind of playable from Europe. Like that one time I was playing Ranked 2v2 with Exop on NA West, I was using this. Anyway, link is in the description. Now I really think we're done. It's insane the amount of things we have to do for a Flash game, but oh well. Hopefully this tutorial was clearer for you than the rest. Ask me any questions you may have in the comments. If I taught you something, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you all next time.